Evernote allows you to capture digital content, including web pages, PDF files, organize them, annotate them, share them, and search them. Here's a short video that gives you a good overview of what Evernote can do, and then we'll go into some specific examples. Hi, welcome to Evernote. Evernote is a way to capture all your experiences and access them from anywhere. Type a note, store documents, record audio, capture a photograph, or any other moment you want to remember. Evernote saves and synchronizes your digital life across all your devices. No matter where you are, Evernote is with you. Use it to stay more organized. Plan your next trip. Design and manage a project. Clear your paper clutter. Capture a moment and always find what you need. Life is full of experiences, and Evernote helps you capture, manage, and remember them all. So that's Evernote in a nutshell. Let's start off with a research example. Let's say I'm doing my news reading and I come across an article about polygamy in British Columbia. And this is something that I'm interested in and I think I might be doing some research on or at least would like to uh, grab a quote from. I can capture this into Evernote very easily by using an Evernote plugin. We'll go over how to install the plugin at the end here, but after installing the Clip to Evernote plugin, I get this little icon up here. And if I click on it, it'll highlight the article text. It'll grab the title, ask me what notebook I want to put it in, and I can tag it too. So let's say I want to tag it as Polygamy and Law. And then I can click Save Article. And if I go into my desktop version of Evernote and hit the Synchronize button, here is the article from the New York Times that it's clipped for me. Now there's two different ways you can clip it. I'll just show you the other one first because I actually use it more often than this one. So the first way to clip it is by using the Clip to Evernote plugin. Evernote has another plugin called Clearly that strips out all the advertisement and extraneous stuff on a web page and gives you just the text from uh, an article, which makes it easier to read and it allows you to highlight text on the page. So if I click on the Clearly plugin button, so here's the same article and it's stripped out all the ads and given it, in, given it to me in a nice easy to read format. The other thing you can do if you click on the highlight tool, let's say this is a quote that I like and I'd like to easily find again, I can highlight that and let's highlight, oh I've highlighted this one already. And by virtue of the fact of highlighting it, it saves it to Evernote or you can just click on this button on the right side to clip it to Evernote as well. So now if we go back into Evernote and synchronize. This is another copy of the file with the highlighting um, that I did in Clearly, which is very helpful if, you're, if you've got a long article and there's a couple of key paragraphs or quotes that you'd like to, um, to highlight to find more easily. This is also available on the, in the uh, uh, on your iPhone or your Android phone in the Evernote application on there. So anything that you clip in any copy of Evernote is synchronized between all the devices like it mentioned in the video. Uh, so one other example is uh, note taking. In meetings you can do that on your uh, laptop or on your uh, phone. You can also take pictures of the whiteboard um, and then have optical character recognition done on the whiteboard. So here's a note here that uh, just a test note that I did on the whiteboard in my office here. And Evernote test, how well does it translate? And just to show you how well it does the, uh, the optical character recognition, if I go into search notes here and I search for um, digital text, We can see that it actually found those words in my, uh, my whiteboard note. So anything, any text in any picture becomes full text searchable. So one thing I do is I put Dilbert cartoons into Evernote so that I can 
uh, find interesting cartoons relative to a subject I'm talking about for presentations, just as an example. I'll show you a little sample of the exact same thing on my phone. Um, here's the interface on my iPhone. If I go to the next picture here, it shows uh, that uh, I did the same keyword text, uh, ever, or, uh, digital text, and if we click on the, the note there, we can see you've got the same highlighting. It's found digital text in this uh, format as well. So anything that you capture on any device is searchable on any of those devices. One other thing I should mention, if you don't have access to the, uh, to the device, you can always use the web browser, Evernote on the web. So here's my Evernote on the web, and I'll do the same search, digital text, and there we go. So you can get it in any, any place you have a connection to the internet and a web browser at the very least. So uh, we'll quickly do a, an install demo. Um, to install Evernote on your computer, you just go to evernote.com. You'll come to this page. Click on the Get Evernote It's Free button. And it'll download Evernote. I won't download it, but you, on whatever, whether it be Windows or Mac, it'll download it. You can install it on your desktop. Um, same thing if you uh, are on your uh, iPhone or Android phone, go to the App Store, do a search for Evernote, you'll find it. To install the plugins in your web browser, which makes it very useful, go to the same page and you can install the Web Clipper here or Clearly. Those are the two ones that I use most often, and they have plugins for all the major web browsers. Um, one thing to notice, note is that Evernote is free. They do give you some extra bells and whistles if you do the paid version, which is I think about 40 or 50, I think it's $40 a year. They promise to do the optical character recognition on uh, text and pictures more quickly, and they give you more storage space. but. I haven't found any need to get the paid version at this point. Um, so short exercise. Um, if you haven't done so already, install Evernote on your uh, laptop computer and on your smartphone. On your laptop, uh, go to a couple of articles or news articles on the web that are interesting to you. Capture them, both using the uh, Clipped Evernote plugin and the Clearly plugin see what the differences are between the capturing in those two different formats, and clearly do a little bit of highlighting so you can see what that looks like. Um, and also on your mobile device, take a picture of a whiteboard or a piece of paper where you've written some text, um, save that to, uh, to Evernote, and then give it a few minutes and do a keyword search on that text, using something out of that text to see how well that works for you. In any case, Evernote's a great product. Uh, it's free to use for the basic, uh, basic features. And uh, good luck in your researching.